Hello guys, this is The Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Black Ops 4 Zombies Blood of the Dead video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can go ahead and get yourself the Golden Spark from Mob of the Dead, now within Blood of the Dead, but the steps are different to go ahead and get it. So, the first step that you need to go ahead and do is you need to have the power on, you then need to go ahead and get yourself the Warden's Key. Now, you get the Warden's Key after you kill your very first Brutus within your game, so you can simply go ahead and pick that up. The next step you need to do is you need to go ahead and build the Spectral Shield. Now, if you do not know how to get the spectral shield I will have a link down in this video's description so make sure you go ahead and check that out if you don't know how to get the shield so now that you've gone ahead and got the shield and you know how it works because that video also explains how it works and what you need to do is you need to pull out your shield and hold the aim down sight button which puts you into afterlife mode and it will show three different numbers and these numbers need to be noted down so if you have a bad memory just write them down on a sheet of paper now that you've recognized those numbers what you need to do is you need to go ahead and open the number box next to the elevator with the warden's key and you will be able to open up that box. So now that the number panel has been revealed, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and collect some souls from some zombies. You collect these by simply once again having your shield out and sh holding the shoot button near zombies which drags the souls out of the zombies and collects them, sort of like afterlife. And uh, once you've collected around four zombie souls, what you need to do is you need to go back over to the warden office and you need to go ahead and shock the number panel with the shield. Now after you have done this what you need to do is you need to enter the code that you had memorized earlier. So input those three numbers and that should be that step done. Now that you've done that you will need the Hell's Retriever. If you do not know how to get the Hell's Retriever I do have a link to a full tutorial down in this video's description. Once you've gone ahead and gotten the Hell's Retriever what you need to do is you need to once again collect souls. So just go and collect some souls with the shield and once you've done that, go over to the docks area and what you need to do is you need to shock this panel that is for the crane by the docks with the shield. So once you have shocked that, the crane will then collapse onto the docks and you will see that there will be a fishing net that will have a skeleton within it. What you need to do is you need to go ahead and throw your Hell's Retriever at the skeleton and what this will do is it will allow you to go ahead and pick up the spoon on the box. So simply press square X or F to go ahead and pick that up and uh, that is by that net as you can see on screen. The next step you need to do is you need to go over to the bathtub area that you can see on screen from the original Mob of the Dead and you are able to press square X or F to lay your spoon within the tub. So once you've done that what you need to do is make your way over to the roof of Blood of the Dead and you need to get zombie kills with either of the upgraded blunder gats so either the acid gat or alternatively the magma gat. If you don't know how to upgrade either of the blunder gats there are links to tutorials in this video's description and you need to just get an absolute ton of kills with either of those weapons. I'm not sure on the exact amount, but it is quite a lot. I'd suspect around 100 or something like that, maybe less, maybe more. I'm not entirely sure. The way you can check how much progress you've made is by checking how much the blood has drained from the bath. But once you've gotten enough kills, you will be able to go up to the bath and you'll be able to fully drain the bath and the spoon will disappear. Now, what you need to do is you need to make your way along the catwalk and you need the Hell's Retriever. Again, if you don't know how to get that link in this video, description and you need to throw the Hell's Retriever exactly where you see it on screen and that will retrieve the Golden Spark and there you will have the Golden Spark. This thing stays a one hit kill for absolutely ages. It's the best melee weapon we've ever had and there is an electric upgrade to this Golden Spark and it will be having a tutorial on how to get that in the future on the channel and it will be linked in this video's description once it does go live if you want to go ahead and find out how to upgrade this. But yeah, thank you for watching and uh, bye.